and welcome back to another cup of Joe and Dakota. Well, if you're having a wonderful day, going to start a new week here. It's Thanksgiving week. Dude. It's Grubhub I on steroids. I'm so excited to eat some turkey. 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 And actual cranberry sauce. None of that. Jello, Jello wobbly stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> Real stuff. Joe comes today also comes with a little extra here. So not only mm -hmm. is it the last day in Pennsylvania. Yep. We'll just say this is Lancaster's episode because pretty much most of or at least Lancaster month because right. mo three out of the four of these coffees have mm -hmm. been Lancaster. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that, honestly. Like, when I was doing that. Anyway, if you live in Lancaster, apparently you have coffee choices galore. Yes. But anyway, today more specifically, we're drinking Lancaster County's Coffee Roasters Maple Bourbon. Yep. And we have another two for episode. This is just regular coffee. We all know these are the espresso cups, but Joe's Joe knows better. <laughs> he didn't give me that much caffeine. Anyway. In the, our regular cups. Right. Joe's made us lattes. Yeah. Um, this uh, company, they give you a card of suggested um, drinks that you can make with it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll make one of their, their uh, bourbon maple syrup lattes. And I can tell you this much. It's freaking delicious. So. Yeah. Very sweet, though. <laughs> it is sweet. It, it hurts the purest in me on the coffee thing. <laughs> But man, it's freaking good. Oh, but that's why we have the other one right here. We the, do have the other for one the right purists, there. And we have not tried it. Oh, I am so excited for that. You know what, Joe? Let's just jump yeah, right in. Go for we'll, it. we'll talk about everything else in a second. Oh, my God. Let's come back to that. We're also <laughs> going to talk about sample packs. Sample packs. And we don't just have one kind. We've got both because we have two different collections. Two, two collections. Two different collections. I go like this: two collections. It's like four. <laughs> two collections. <laughs> two plus two is now four. <laughs> two plus two is now two now, guys. And then we yeah. also are going to talk about you build your own bundle. We're going to highlight some beard oils that we should really talk about more. Mm -hmm. We should really talk about more. I mean, we all love Highland Frost. And yep. We all love Kilted Lumberjack. Yep. Those are the big ones right now. Mm -hmm. But we got some other ones that we got in our back pocket that we're going to show you guys today. Yep. We're also going to talk about a badass deal that's coming up because, you know, Black Friday, guys, it is getting to be that time of the year. It, I, it is that time of the year. Uh, it is. I mean, really, realistically. Really? I mean, Thanksgiving yeah. is what, Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hold on. Here we go, Joe. The rest of the year is going to fly on I'll, by. And let the games begin. Yeah, let the games begin. Uh, where do you want to start? I don't know. we got so many options here today, Joe. Just looking at this array of stuff we got in front of us. Uh, how about we talk about um, the sample packs? Hell yeah! So Joe mm -hmm. and his wonderful wife painstakingly poured each individual one of these guys and labeled them. And if you guys can see, they all each have their own individual logo. Yeah, you sure. Could say. Icon logo, yeah. That corresponds with the little card in there, right? Because we could only put so much mm -hmm. on these little bottles. So that logo corresponds with the logo on a card that tells you all about it. Yep. And we have that for both the Lifestyle Collection and the Heritage Collection. Right. And you get both the Winter Scents in there. So the Highland Frost yep. and the Kilted Lumberjack. So six beard oils in each pack. I mean, perfect stocking stuffer. Yep. Or that really picky bearded man in your life mm -hmm. that doesn't know what he wants to put on his beard. He wants to put something, he knows that. Right. Or maybe he doesn't know he wants to put anything on there, and you just don't have any clue what to get him. Right. Sample packs. Like I said, there's two different ones. They're great. You can't go wrong. But get both of them for, what, for 35 bucks. Yeah, buy one for 20 two for 35 and you get a $10 voucher in there for when he makes his next purchase. And you got a gift card in there, essentially, too. I mean, yeah, um, it's, it's foolproof. Yeah. He, he, he'll essentially get, what is that, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different cents because you get double up with the, the winter ones. Right. It's perfect. It's like ten different gifts in one. Yep. It's great. It's fantastic. I could not recommend it enough. I mean, I have the sample pack at home. And 
it's a great it's, it's just great to have mm-hmm. you know and that 10 percent off card too in there ten dollars off ten dollars off i apologize yep perfect can't go wrong yeah so uh when thinking of these and when uh, shopping and i mean we know a lot of bearded people and don't get them a gift card or just a, a random like x store gift card that they may never go to or may never use up they're going to use these uh sample mm-hmm. packs I mean, the, you got the winter ones, you got the, all the heritage ones in here, and you really get to find what you like without having to commit. And, uh, yeah, you, you're just getting the best bang for your buck, and it's showing that you're thoughtful, but, but like he said, you're throwing like a gift card in there too at the same time. I mean, so yeah. if they find one that they like, they got $10 off. Right. I mean, yeah. $10. That's a. Well, on that's top a of that. Deal. On top. And that can be combined with other um, no, uh, we, uh, promotions stacked. too. We're stacked. So if there's a ten percent or um, like out there, you can get ten percent plus a ten dollars off. So, like I said, it's a very generous way of saying, "Hey, w- we stand by our product. We have a quality product, but we, you know what? We can't make your mind up for you. You got to make up your mind for yourself. And then once, once you do, you got ten dollars to go and get what you want." So and that being said, mm-hmm. me and Joe try to highlight in this build your own, build your own bundle, right? We try to highlight two from the lifestyle collection, and two from the heritage collection. But so the two that we picked from the lifestyle collection are Dapper Gentleman, yep. which is our date night one. Right, has a couple of aphrodisiacs in there. Could it make your significant other go wild? It's great for date night, and it makes your beard extra shiny. So it's just yep. that much. You just on your A game. Then we have Breaking Beard. That guy is the kitchen sink. That will mm-hmm. adhere to any beard type, any level of beard. That one you can't go wrong with. So I use um, a Breaking Beard uh, one week a month. Uh, the reason why is because it has so many beneficial oils in it, 12 to be exact, mm-hmm. that whatever I may not be getting either in my diet or um, from the other beard oils I have that I use, I get it from that one right there, and it smells good too. It's got a citrus, mm. woodsy, very it's neutral very scent. It's not one way or the other. Perfect. Yes. Not too much either way. I think it's just enough of a scent. Right. It's not offensive, but it's also not not there. Right. You know, it's it's the perfect balance. And Dapper Gentleman, like you said, perfect for date nights. Mm-hmm. You know, we tend to forget that. Our significant others are usually going to be closer to us, and they are going to get even more closer, if that's even the right way to say it, if, uh, (laughs) more close, I guess, is the way you say it, but if you smell good, if they like the scent, Mm -hmm. well, high chance probability of aphrodisiac scents, you're going to smell good, so. These, also, perfect way to figure out what scent do you want your man to have. Right. Hey, babe, use these for the week. Mm -hmm. Take Sunday off or Monday off or don't wear a beard oil this day. But try a new scent every day. Right, yeah. It's perfect for that, too. And there's two other all-stars over there from the the Heritage Collection. Guys, these are are also some near and dear great, great ones to hit if you really enjoy yourselves. So we got Highlands, which is a great woodsy earthy sweet pine sweet like mm-hmm. it's just par- like it just rained and you're walking through the forest right and it's just got that sweet beautiful earthy scent to it right right could not recommend that one enough mm-hmm. and then our tried and true classic americano no explanation needed it smells like coffee it's freaking amazing if you and your significant other love coffee as much as me and joe do guys you can't go wrong like that that should be at the top of the list to get a beard oil that one hits it on the head it's perfect so so uh, with the americano in particular if and when you buy the beer butter to go with it Mm -hmm. you get something kind of special there um it turns the coffee vanilla into like a coffee vanilla mocha it smells 
stinking delicious. I think those that's probably the one of the best combinations for like a one two punch for scent wise. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just really it smells really good. Oh yeah. So, so if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend trying the Americano beard oil and butter together. Y- you're gonna be it's a wowed. perfect sta- yeah. stacking blend. It, it really is. Like it really that is. that one. If I was to recommend any stacking, yeah. That that combo, yeah. you can't go wrong with it, right? So, but uh, yeah, so um, and to bring us all together, if you will, by purchasing these, you get a ten dollar voucher. Then you can go buy a four pack of beard oils, and that four pack of beard oils, you you get a discount because you're bundling anyways. Then you get ten more dollars off from your voucher. Then you have an amazing deal. So, it's one of those little cheat sheet kind of things um, to really maximize your dollar to get a high quality product. We're trying to help you guys. Yep. But, we got you. But sometimes when you get on a website, you can't navigate through it, um, the ins and outs of things that m- may benefit you. But that's what I would do. If I got a, a sample pack, I would dive right into a, um, a four packer of one ounces, use my voucher, and get for like 50 Have something bucks. Have you guys bucks. got a bundle? Yeah. Let us know what bundle you got down in the comments. While they're there, give us a like. Wouldn't mind that. That'd be cool. Help support a small channel. And, I mean, you could subscribe, too, if you like seeing our great faces every week. We'll be here every Sunday. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, guys. Perfect perfect stocking stuffers. You can't go wrong with these guys. The best part is, is, you know, if you got two bearded individuals in your life, you can get one for one and one for the other and let them duke it out. See, see which, which ones they want to do. They could trade them all right do that kind of fun thing also joe Mm -hmm. black friday yes we got that deal going what all week so we're starting today today so when you listen to this right now it's already going to be happening go on over to kilt beard company spend 75 dollars after all discounts and wait for it wait for it Joe, I'm going to need you to hold this side of the shirt because we don't discriminate against the big boys. Santa has a beard shirt. Guys, this thing is freaking massive because we had so many people ask about freaking big boy sizes. Yep. Because, you know, me and Joe aren't the massive manly men that are out there with some beards. This guy... This guy is a man right there. That's a 3X. So that's a 3X, right? That's there. a 3X. As I jokingly told Joe, that's a freaking moo moo. But uh, <laughs> we got a little sat on the hit on the side there. Look at that. Shoulder. Shoulder, you call it? Uh, sleeve. 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 Yeah. yeah. Anyway, just a nice all around Christmas shirt. Fun to wear all year round. I know I've yep. worn mine all year round. Sure. But you get that with any order over $75 after discounts all week. While supplies last. While supplies last, though. And discounts. It's very simple. 30% off the website. Oh, my God. Uh, Very simple. We're not going to complicate things. Uh, 30% off. Spend $75 or more. Is there any code necessary? Nope. It's just automatically applied. Well, well, uh, like I said. We we just made this as easy as possible for you guys. Yes. Uh, Good the, lord. The only thing that is not um, part of that is the gift cards. That's it. So, um, I mean, uh, but uh, gift yeah. cards already. So, if you got some sample packs and you get 30% off your sample packs and you use $10 off of this, my, except for maybe just shipping, you're basically getting it for free. I'm not saying you get it for free, but close. It's a really good deal. I so, mean. um, this is our first year doing a Black Friday sale. Mm-hmm. Um, more of what we want to get out of this is basically those who have supported us. We want to make sure that you guys can stock up and try what you may not have already tried yet, or just stock up on what you've already got. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, you can spread a little bit of love to a few more new beards out there, so they can get on the Kill Beard <laughs> Company bandwagon here. And could, and uh, start trying to use our product. So Joe, yeah, we all know this. I think I know our opinions on this. But before we get into the coffee, mm-hmm. we were talking about it last week, right? 
Colorado or Pennsylvania? Which coffee are you saying? Which state has the better coffee? Because I know my opinion. I think the best way to say it is that for coffee to coffee that we just had, not just because three of the four were in Lancaster, right? In Colorado, we kind of were spread out, just like mm-hmm. shotgun in it. Yeah. Um, for coffee to coffee, espresso to espresso, et cetera, like that, I think PA wins out. Um, they nail their notes. They nail their flavors. They nail the freshness. They na- they, they just the packaging, the um, us agreeing on every one of these. Hey, the words right. Uh, um, I think. Just checking all those boxes just puts PA just above them. And, you know, we may have to circle back around in the future to see, you know, if there's other ones in the States that may change that perspective. So, you know, I'd have to say I agree with you, Joe, but one slight difference. Okay. The reason I think Pennsylvania has a little bit better coffee, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, maybe we need to go back to Colorado now that we've tried multiple other coffees because... What, four coffees for the last nine months? That's a shit ton of coffee, guys. Right. So, the reason I'm saying Pennsylvania is better, more specifically Lancaster. If you're in Lancaster, you guys have some great freaking coffee shops. You got great choices. You got great choices. Maybe the rest of Pennsylvania is like that. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I've never been there. Sorry, guys. I mean, Mm -hmm. where I see now, Joe, I think we should add Lancaster to our list next year. For sure. Because, my God. That being said, we're later... This 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 month mm-hmm. is a lot farther down the line from when we had Colorado. Right. We were very we had infant palettes. We have a have little more sophisticated palettes now, right. right? So that that being that, we've agreed on most of the coffees. Mm-hmm. They've hit tasting notes on point, and we both we all know mm-hmm. how much I hate tasting notes. Right. The coffee is just delicious. It it's it says what it is. Again, they hit the tasting notes right on the head. Mm-hmm. Transition into that maple bourbon, guys. Warm and cozy. It says on here, guys. I've never read anything that fit something so perfect. Yeah, and like I said, this it tastes like a coffee broth. It's great. If coffee could be a broth, this is what it would be. It's bourbon, maple, I mean, butterscotch. Uh, it's just so good. You the latte is great if you're into this whole bean. Little more sugar, but if you just want just a good cup of coffee, guys, this cup right here. Oh my god! So if you're looking for like, if you're a coffee lover, uh, looking for a coffee for your stock, you know, as, got, as a present, you gotta ask for this. Just enough of the the bourbon in there, Mm -hmm. and then just enough of the maple. It's got a little caramel to it. Mm -hmm. It's just if you if it's snowing outside, you got the fireplace going. You got your nice warm blankie. My God, I think I'm secretly gonna buy another one. (laughs) (laughs) Or like early morning (laughs) breakfast, you're sitting out in the living room with the windows wide open. You're not even don't even have the TV on. You're just staring at the window, enjoying the scenery. Yeah. You got your nice pancakes there. This is... I could not highly recommend it enough, guys. Uh, pecan maple pancakes? I mean, maple bourbon we're, coffee? We're stacking a lot of crazy <laughs> shit at that point, Joe. But yes, could not recommend it more, guys. So have you tried um, Lancaster County Coffee Roasters? If so... Have we nailed it? Have we picked the best one? Is there a better one to choose from? Mm-hmm. Um, if so, I would be over the moon on this one because I'd be wild because this is really good. I would dare say, I know we were talking about Colorado, but I would dare say comparatively the best coffee I can compare this to was anything from Dark Moon. Mm. Like I would put them up there in that tier. Dakota's in love with Dark, uh, dark Moon. Dark Moon's he's, he's got, got a my secret heart. Dark, dark Moon's there. got my heart. It's, but this, these guys mm-hmm. though, I would say are up there. The fact that it's a whole bean, it's oh, maple yeah, bourbon, yeah. so it's not really like a necessarily. It's more of a seasonal. 
one, right? Oh, oh, it's seasonal, but like oh I said, it's God. not blended. It's not a blended seasonal. It's mm. a seasonal in a whole bean that tastes like it should be bl- blended. It, like it's, it's oh, really yeah. good. Oh, it's could not recommend it more. But uh, to close it out, have a wonderful holiday week here. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, Eat too much turkey, guys. Yeah, do it up. and But save leftovers so you can go over to KiltBeerCompany.com. Get you some amazing beer products. Oh, before we leave. Oh. Kind of secretly been talking about Thanksgiving the whole month. Oh, yeah, yeah. General census, I think we have a perfect Thanksgiving meal, Joe. Here from Kilt Beard Company to you guys. We're yep. giving you a little insight. Smoked turkey. Smoked turkey. What's the next thing? Well, I said Come stuffed on. mushrooms. I mean, we want to get As a crazy. side dish? You want to get crazy? Let's throw uh, some stuffed mushrooms. Of course, mashed potatoes and gravy. You gotta Can't do that go right. wrong with that. Brown gravy or white gravy? Which one are you? Oh, into? I'm a brown gravy person. A brown gravy? Yeah. It depends. Thanksgiving, though, I think is brown gravy the whole way. Then we have our dessert. Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Can't and, go wrong with that. And his uh, secret, secretly delicious chocolate pie that none of us have tried it except for himself. Um. Yeah, I, I think we're doing and what, good. But what about the sweet side dish, Joe? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't forget that one. Pecan souffle. Sweet, sweet potato, or yam pecan souffle. Guys. Good stuff. We have just given you the perfect Thanksgiving mm-hmm. meal with cranberry sauce. Actual cranberry sauce. Yep. Not that weird jiggly shit. But perfect right. Thanksgiving meal for you guys. You heard it here from me and Joe perfect thanksgiving meal check our instagram out uh, during this time we'll probably snap a few pictures to share Mm. our dishes with you guys i know there's a lot of those people who take pictures of their food and everything but uh, i think this is one of those exceptions in the year that it's well welcomed it's it's accepted yeah it's accepted accepted. so guys go get you some lancaster coffee mostly this stuff right here lancaster county maple bourbon it's cozy. It should be on your Christmas it's list. It's warm. Absolutely. It would be a great Christmas morning coffee because we all know if you have kids out there, you're waking up way earlier than you want. You yep. stayed up way later than you wanted. Yep. Get you some of this for Christmas morning. Absolutely. It could not go better. It's good. We'll transition into the Christmas holiday the next time you see us, guys. Yeah. There could be some fun stuff coming along. It's going to be great. Go get you some sample packs. Go build your own bundles. Get you a sick t-shirt. All right, guys. I'm going to end this on the tried and true. Tried and true. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.